welcome back to our channel we are at barnes and noble to get some books um chapter books for leela look at that one get that one at forever this summer read the back of that one um yeah forever this summer get it at the very bottom um so just wanted to bring you with us here come sit next to you and read the back for me so i can hear what it's about so far we got a couple of good books um ghost boys oh shoot is it backwards ghost boys <laughs> um holes i got holes it was and I also yes, may right. have forever this summer if it's on. GJ okay. found a Christmas with Bluey book. Mm -hmm. Say what's up to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. You gonna read the book? All right, Leela, let's hear it. Yeah. So what the book is about is it says... Have a seat. It says so. Georgie has no idea what to expect when, his, when she... Mama and Peaches are blocked down in the middle of small town. USA, a.k.a. Bog Alusa, Louisiana, where Mama grew up and Great Aunt V need constant care. Georgie wants to help out at the once family, famous family diner to serve celebrities like the Jackson 5 and the Supremes, but... Everyone, everyone is too busy to show her with the ropes. And mom is treating her like a baby, not letting her leave her sight. When she finally gets permission to leave on her own, Georgie makes friends with Margie and Foster, kid who'd be under Aunt Elvie's care, who has a limb difference and a huge attitude. Then Marky and Georgie to help her find her oh, mom. GJ. And suddenly right here. Summer Sit right here. has a real Sit right there. Sit right there. But a cut Georgie's and Marky. No, because they were sitting on that one. Begin to sure. No, it's fine, sure. Yeah. Georgie becomes becomes a desperate to find the truth. And she may even find a way to write play past wrongs and hope not be in Marky after all, all, after all. That's all it says. That's the whole What do you thing. think about it? Does it sound interesting to no, you? Not one do not, bit. Gario, do not touch those toys. No. It's your book. It don't sound. Okay, go <gasps> for the bed. What is that? You're not getting last kid on earth. Don't bother. No. Gee, Gario Bruce, why are you climbing that? I'm, I'm in a tree. No. <laughs> no, it is a tree, but he can't, you can't climb it, Gario. Is it a real one? No. Come down. You can't climb that, son. You're going to be done. Bell, it's not a tree, a real tree. You see anything you like? You and you on YouTube. You take a picture of me of you said to my death like this. Huh. You take a picture of me? Mm-hmm. I did. But talk to YouTube. I just did. Talk to YouTube. I took the picture already. Tell us where you at. Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay. Natalie has never felt that she's enough athletic, enough stylish enough, or talented enough. And on the first day of middle school, Natalie discovers that things are worse than she thought. Now she's not even cool enough for her best friend, Lily. As Natalie tries to go, tries to get her best friend back, she learns more about her true self and natural talents. If Natalie can focus on who she is rather than who she isn't, then she might realize she's more than enough just the way she is.
a good one. The Watsons. The Watsons. It's the Watsons go to Birmingham in 1963. Listen, when the Watson family, when the Watson family, 10-year-old Kenny, mama, daddy, little sister Joetta, and brother Byron sets out on a trip south to visit grandma in Bir Birmingham, Alabama, they don't realize that they're heading toward one of the darkest moments in American history. The Watson's journey reminds us that even in the hardest times, laughter and family can help us get through anything. What do you think? Sounds. You want to get this one? Yeah. What is that under your um, arm? I don't know about that. I don't know about Harriet this time. She's steak cheese. Oh, Harriet M. Wells is a spy. She's steak. Mommy, I want Gabby Cat. Gabby Cat is right here. Everything everyone she sees, including her classmates and even her best friend. Mother. Hold on, son. Gabby Cat is down here. Right here. Right here. Right here. About each of them, will Harriet find a way to put her life and her friendship back together? Story's called Alone. I know. When 12 years old, Maddie scheme for a secret sleepover with her two best friends goes Ari. She goes Ari. She ends up waking up to a nightmare. She utterly alone, left behind in the, a town that has been mysteriously evacuated, evacuated and abandoned. Uh -oh. With no one to relay, rely on no powers and no working Name George in all the books she can read. As the month passes, she escapes natural disasters, looters, and wild animals. But the crushing loneliness she faces her as a constant companion. Can Maddie will? Can Maddie's will? To survive, carry her through the most frightening experience of her life. Okay, guys, so now we're looking for GJ a book, and um, you know, because he's learning, he's still learning. So, I'm thinking we'll do Bob Books set one, um, beginner readers, really simple sentences in this type of book. So, Matt, the book is about Matt, there's Matt, and then Matt sat, Sam, Sam sat. Matt sat, Sam sat. You know, it's pretty simple words and simple sentences. Come on, guys. We're going to get this one for you. Come on. Get your bluey book. So we got some pretty good books. we just got two books. I've got um, I've got a book that we're going to read together. Oh, well, mostly two it's books for me. One for Ghost her. Ghost Boys. Put it back. It's one for her and one for me. I think I already told y'all we had this right here. Yeah.
that's her. Okay, she's in the kids' club. Oh, wow. Check that out. So, yeah, sure. Might as well take credit for her. No. I came here for this book. Oh. And look at what all we have. <laughs> YouTube lesson. Came in the bookstore to pick up holes for Leela and walked out with $60 worth of books. We're going to be doing a lot of reading. Excited? excited? Hold the card. I am excited. Okay. Come on. It's cold outside. All right. Come on, Gary. All right, go. I got Where's it. Car? Get on this side. Oh, it's cold. Okay, guys. So that was fun. Got some books. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Hey, don't get in the habit of knocking on my window like that. I'm playing with my windows. <sighs> so cold. All right. My eyes are watering. Yes, car seat. So. Like I was saying, um, we just left the bookstore. We got a bunch of books. Um, woo, we finna go home. As you can see, Leela's hair is a mess. I'm going to practice doing knotless again because um, she's my mannequin. Okay, guys. So, um, I get a lot of anxiety when I go in the stores with my kids and. Uh, so that was a lot, but we went and got some books. I started recording a little late though. I didn't think about it until after we had already gotten in the store. We got some pretty good books. Um, me and Lila are gonna do like a little book club and read to get, read the books together, read one of the books together. Um, because it sounds really good. I forgot what it's called though, so I it's, can't even um, I'm, I'm Ghost it. Boys. Oh, Ghost Boys. I can't remember 100% exactly what the book said. Cause we read a, we read a bunch of books, back of books. Can I read it? So, you want to read the back of the book? I will. Okay. So Don't what it says is 12 year old, 12 year old, 12 year old Jerome is the le latest victim shot by a white police officer who mistakes his toy gun for a threat. As a ghost, he observes the defi definition definition that's been unleashed on his family and community. In the wake of what they see in, as an unjust and brutal killing. Once again, Joel Parker Rhodes definitely leaves historical and psychological layers into a gripping and poignant, poignant. poignant story about how children and families face the complexities of today's world. Rhodes had achieved something remarkable here a kid here here a kid's eye view a violence and racism that balance and and con con and constant of outrage wretching loss and hard won one hope shy town tribal Ghost Boys gently walks readers through the minefield of a young black boys who have been killed due to racism, dating back to the murder of Emmett Till by exploring the fear that is at the core of these murders. Joel Parker rolled into such as to waste the Raise the living can crack the fear and eventually end the epidemic of death. That's what it says. 
very, very timely because it definitely connects to things that are in modern day news, things that we deal with today in our communities. And so it is, it's a good book to try to dive into or to dive into with my nine year old because let's be real, she's a nine year old black girl and you know, um, so I'm really interested in seeing what that's about. We're gonna be reading that together. I bought two, one for her, one for me. Cause I may wanna take notes in mine and I'm gonna make her take notes in hers build up um healthy habits whoa look whoa at look at all these birds, birds. <laughs> hey, y'all missed it um um she you is back, you? oh yeah she's in fourth grade so she's getting ready to go into middle school next year and there are certain habits that she needs to you know do in middle school so when it comes to her reading so but um, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna fast forward through this part. GJ is getting really fussy and I just, I hate for y'all to, I already have to deal with it. I know how I feel. And I hate for y'all to have to be a part of that too. So no, sit tight. I can't see the camera. Sit tight, we're gonna turn this thing around. to the hair store to get some some um, hair products for Leela's hair because when I first did it last last week um, her boxes weren't slicked down how I really wanted it to I used mousse and then I put heat on it but I think the mousse that I use is setting lotion the wrapping setting lotion um so I went to the hair store and bought some edge some uh, edge stuff for her boxes. And then I bought some mousse for braids. There's a difference, didn't even realize that. Nice. Um, Went to the hair store. So here's what we did today, cause I might as well tell y'all while we on our way home. Um, Helped my mom move some of her things hey, from the mom, house. Why did you the red light? <laughs> um, Helped my mom move some of her things and um, went to the hair store. We went to Barnes & Noble out closer to the house, but they were closed due to a power outage, which I can't stand when traffic lights are off because people who don't know how to drive don't know when to go, and that drives me nuts. But we went there, we went there, and because they had a power outage, we went to the other Barnes & Noble about 15 minutes away from home um, to, you know, go ahead and get the books we went in there. So, you were with us for most of it. We, you just didn't see the whole moving stuff or the hair store. But, um, all right. Well, we are looking at, I'm, I'm so close to my house that I'm looking at it. So we're going to go on ahead and wrap this video up. We are going to chat with you later. What she doing, man? You guys have a beautiful day. I'm gonna make her hair video separate Christmas. from this because this video probably be pretty doggone long. It's have a um, I don't know. But anyways, have a great rest of your day, and I huh? will chat with you later. Have a beautiful Christmas. Peace out. Have a beautiful Christmas, GJ said. Peace out. Peace. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so get all notifications on when we make a new video or new shorts. Okay. All right. Bye.